Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to crochet your very own letter cushion. If you follow me on Instagram or Facebook, you probably would have seen one of these cushions somewhere throughout my feed or in my Insta stories. And I'm just gonna show you how I create mine. So first of all, to get started, you will need to create a graph like this one that I've got up on my iPad. Now, if you don't already know how to create one of these graphs, it is very, very easy. Head over to my blog. I have written up a blog post on how you can create your very own graph. So I will leave the link for that blog post in the description below. So you can go ahead now, create your graph, and then once you've got it ready to go, come back to this video and I'll teach you how to do the rest. If you already have your graph ready to go, that's great. We can get started right away. So what I've got here is a five millimeter crochet hook with a white and dark gray acrylic eight ply yarn. Now, obviously you'll be able to see here in my graph that my letter is going to be white and my background will be dark gray, which is why I've chosen these two colors. Now, you probably can't see as the writing is quite small, but my cushion measurements are 48 stitches by 41 stitches. Now, you can, of course, create whatever size cushion you like. Just make sure it is going to be the correct sizing for whichever cushion insert you will be using for this cushion. Um, now, so these measurements that I've got here will be for a 16 inch cushion insert. You can find these at pretty much any craft store or department store. I get mine from Big W. I find they're quite good quality if you're in Australia. Um, if not, I'm sure you'll be able to find them quite easily. All right, to get started. Now, if you're not already aware, each square you see on your graph will count as one stitch. So I, as as I said before, um, have 48 stitches by 41 stitches, meaning I will have 48 little squares going across and 41 little squares going up. So to get started, we're going to start down here in this bottom right hand corner and we will be working across this way for our first row and then once we get to our second row it will be going back this way. You'll see what I mean once we get up to the white part but for now we've got one, two, three, four, five, six rows before we get to any white. So it's very, very easy to start off with. We're just going to half double crochet, six rows and then we'll start on the white. But to get started I'm going to first of all chain 50 chains so just using whichever color you're using for your background um, I'm obviously using the gray so I'm going to chain 50 with my gray yarn and you may be wondering why are you chaining 50 Kate when you've only got 48 stitches well I will tell you why um, so I will be leaving two chains at the very beginning to count as a turning chain which will not count as a stitch so we will only end up with 48 stitches but I'm simply leaving two stitches out um, sorry two chains out at the beginning so we can turn our work and begin our first row all right so go ahead now and chain up 50 and I will meet you back here at the end all right, so I have finished chaining up my 50 chains. Should look like that. Now, as I said earlier, I am going to be skipping these first two chains to then begin my first row. So I'm using half double crochet. So I'm just going to go ahead and yarn over and then I'm going to be crocheting into the third chain from my hook. So skipping those first two, one, two, and then crocheting into that third one there. Like so. Now I'm going to be half double crocheting all the way to the end of this round. So you can go ahead now and do the same. If you don't already know how to do the half double crochet, there is a tutorial for that on my YouTube channel. So you can 
go and learn it now or if you would just like a refresher you can go and watch my video and then come back to this one I will leave the link above but if not if you're already ready to go then just finish half double crocheting in every chain right up until the end and then I'll meet you back here all right, so here we have our very first row of half double crochet. You should have 48 on your hook. Now, remembering that that first chain two that we skipped at the very beginning does not count as a stitch. So we wanna skip that one when we're counting our stitches, but just go back and count your stitches. Make sure you've still got the correct number. If you're copying me and doing the same design as me, you will have 48 stitches. Well, you should have 48 stitches. Okay, now to move on to our second row, I'm just going to chain two and then we're going to turn our work and then we're just going to complete that process all over again. So half double crocheting all the way to the end of the row and we're going to do that for a total of six rows. So you want to have six rows of half double crochet and then once we've finished those, we will get started on the lettering, so the white part of our letter that is around here. Okay, so I'll meet you back here once we've done a total of six rows in half double crochet. Okay, so we've done our six rows of half double crochet, which you'll be able to see on this chart. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six rows of plain gray half double crochet before we then get to row seven where our white lettering will start. So that's what we're gonna start on now. So I've done my six rows of half double crochet. I'm just going to chain two, turn my work, just like you've been doing. And now you're going to need to count how many stitches are before you need to change to white. So for me, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten gray stitches before I then begin on my white stitches. Now I know I did say at the beginning of this tutorial that we're going to be working one row that way, one row that way and so on and so forth. Um, for the plain grey rows, it doesn't really matter. That only really applies to the rows where you're changing colours or you're starting your lettering or your pattern. And you'll see what I mean as time goes on. Okay, so I am going to complete my 10 rows, sorry, 10 stitches of half double crochet. I'm just going to stop at nine for now because I do want to just explain something. Now, this is completely up to you and it's up to your preference. When I'm changing colors, especially when I'm doing a graph or I'm doing a picture like this, I want to finish my, I want to finish the stitch before I change color off with the color that I'm changing to. So in this case, it'll be white. So that probably doesn't make sense, but I'll try and explain it the best I can. So I've done my nine half double crochet and need to do 10 with the gray. So I'm now with my last one, just going to yarn over, insert my hook into the next stitch, pull my yarn through, and I'm gonna stop there with the gray, and I'm just gonna hold that working yarn behind like that. And then I'm going to take my white yarn or whichever color you're changing to and I'm going to finish this stitch off with this white yarn. So rather than yarning over with the gray yarn, I'm going to essentially yarn over with the white yarn and pull that through. Now this is because you'll see here that I had now have the white yarn on my hook, which means that loop there will then carry over into the next stitch. If I was to finish that stitch off with the gray yarn, this loop here would be gray, which means I'd have a white stitch, but the top of it would be gray, if that makes sense. Hopefully it does. If you do do it the other way, um, you will probably see what I mean. And then especially with it, with patterns like this and graphs, you really want to try and keep your whole stitch the same color because it 
kind of looks a bit messy if you don't do it this way. Okay, so I won't go on about that anymore, but if you do have any questions, please feel free to comment below and I will try my very best to help you. But now I'm just going to start on our white. So we can see here that we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stitches in our white yarn on that first row um, where we begin our lettering. So I'm going to go ahead and do seven half double crochet in my white yarn, so one, two, three, four, five, six, and again I'm going to be finishing this stitch off with my grey yarn because I'm now going to be changing colour and continuing on with the grey until we get to this white section here. Okay, so yarning over, inserting your hook, pull through and we're going to leave it at that. Okay, and then I will then yarn over with my grey yarn. So I'm just going to take my grey yarn and we're going to do exactly the same as what we just did when we were changing to the white. So I'm just going to hold my working yarn in the white behind and then I'm going to take my grey, loop it over my hook and I'm going to pull through with that grey. Okay. Now we can see here that we've changed to grey so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen grey stitches before we then will be changing back to white. So I'll go ahead and do that. And I will just also mention when you change your colours, don't cut your ends. I mean, you can if you want, but then you will literally end up with a thousand ends to sew in at the at the end. So I don't cut my ends, I leave them attached and I continue work, working with them until I have finished all my lettering or all my colour changes and then I'll show you what, what I do with them. Okay, so leaving our yarn attached, I'm going to go ahead now and finish off the 14 half double crochet in my grey yarn. And again, we're going to be finishing it off with our white yarn because we're going to be changing to white. So 14, holding that one behind, taking our white yarn. And rather than having like five different full balls of yarn going, you can do what I've done. And I just split them up into, you know, two or three balls per a full ball of yarn and then that just makes it easier to transport and it's a bit more easier for you to carry around. Okay so pulling through with our white yarn, remember we're leaving those ones attached. So then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in our white. Just hold that tail behind there. One, two, three, four, five, six, and again with our final white stitch we will be changing to grey, so seven, holding that one behind, Going through with our grey yarn. And then continuing to the end of the row. So you'll see that between here, which is what we've just done, and the end of the row, there's no more white. So you don't really need to count your stitches. You just know that you've got to go to the end of your row with your grey. Alright, so 
So we've finished our first row. And now I'm just going to, again, change two and turn my work. And now this is where I was talking about um, working from one side to the other in kind of like a zigzag S back and forth, whatever you want to call it. Um, so we'll now be going, we're up to row eight um, and we will be starting from this way. So I've turned my work and you'll notice that this is where all my ends are. So this now becomes my wrong side. So this side will be the side where I want all my ends to be. I want them all to be on one side so it makes my life a lot easier at the end when I'm finishing off my cushion. And this side will be hidden anyway because it will be on the inside of the cushion and not on the outside, which is why we're going to be calling it the wrong side. Okay. So now you'll see that I do need to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten, ten stitches. Um, so the exact same amount that we just did there before I get to the white section where I will need to change to white again. Okay, so just going ahead now and finishing off, completing the grey section with half double crochet. Okay, so you'll see I've got one more grey stitch there to go into. So again, we're going to be finishing it off with the white. So inserting your hook, pulling that yarn through and finishing off with that. Now, this time, rather than putting our working yarn to the back, we're going to, going to be bringing it over the front. And I know it might feel a little bit awkward at first, but you will get used to it. Just That's just because... Um, remembering I said I want all my ends to be on this side and not on the other side so it makes it a lot easier to finish off when you do complete um, your cushion cover. So now I'm going to take this white yarn, so this is why I'm saying to leave them attached. So this white yarn is the one that we had been working with to complete this little white section here and we left it to the back remember. So now I'm going to be picking up that to then yarn over and finish off my last grey stitch. So it'll look something like that. Okay, I'll try and show you guys. So it should look like that. And I know that bit there probably looks a little bit funny, but remember that's just going to be on the inside of your cushion. So you, you won't see it at the end, okay? All right, so now we're going to, you'll notice here that we're doing the exact same amount of white stitches that we did in the previous round. So we're just going to be going into all our white stitches. And now I'm at the last one. So again, finishing off with the gray. Remember moving this one to the front and not to the back for this row. And then again, just like we had just done, taking our grey yarn that is still attached that we were working with in the previous row. Yarning over with that and pulling through to complete our last white stitch. Now again, we're doing the exact same amount of stitches as the previous row, so that makes it really easy to follow along. You can easily just see without counting stitches how many you need to do. Just going to go ahead and do those now. Remembering this whole cushion is done in half double crochet, so it is really, really quick and easy. It's just the color changes that can be a little bit tricky, and I'll show you in a second how your yarn will end up. It does get very, very tangled, and I'm forever untangling my yarn when I'm doing these cushions, but the end result is definitely worth it. last gray stitch insert your hook pull through remember move that to the front just move the other ends out of the way grab the white yarn that you're working with on the previous row yarn over with that and pull through those gray stitches to complete your last gray stitch and again with the white you're going to see that you are just doing the exact same amount 
as we did in the previous row so that's really easy I'm just going to go ahead now and finish off that little white section last white stitch moving that working yarn to the front grabbing our gray yarn from the previous row yarning over and pulling through to finish our last white stitch of that row and now we're just going to half double crochet all the way to the end of this row and that's another row complete Last white stitch, moving that working yarn to the front, grabbing our grey yarn from the previous row, yarning over and pulling through to finish our last white stitch of that row. And now we're just going to half double crochet all the way to the end of this row and that's another row complete. So row eight complete. You'll see now that it is kind of trying, kind of starting to take shape. Um, if you turn it over, so I'll chain two, and then I'm going to turn my work. So this is now the right side. So you'll see that it is a lot neater than the other side. But you'll see that these two white sections here are going to be the start of our white sections here that are on our graph. Okay, so you're just going to continue with that technique the whole way through and um, remembering that it's not always going to be the same amount of white stitches and grey stitches. You will need to count your stitches and I recommend counting every stitch, um, sorry, every row until you kind of get the hang of it. But I'm going to go ahead now and finish off this last row. So that will be row nine. And I will meet you back at row 10 where we will have to change things up a little bit because you'll see here that the A does start to come in on the diagonal in row 10. So I'll meet you back there and I'll show you how that's all done. Okay, so here I am at the end of row 9. So I've just completed row 9. You'll see that there is a little bit of extra white there. Now I'm just going to be chaining two as always and turning my work. Now I will just show you guys my mess I've got here. So this is what you will end up with <laughs> and that is completely fine. You just have to take, a, take the time every few rows to untangle it. Otherwise you will end up with a huge mess at the end. But yeah, I recommend just taking a minute or two at the end of, you know, every five rows or something and just untangling it. It's worth it in the end. Okay, so we're starting on row 10. So again, we're back at the wrong side, which means we're going to be working from this direction. Now you will see here that this part, um, is where the A will start to go in a little bit on a diagonal on the outside. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, so just counting our stitches as always. So I can see here that I have 11 grey stitches before I change to white. So we're going to go ahead and finish off those 11 grey stitches. doing the wrong side now so we want to bring that yarn to the front and we're taking our yarn from the previous row yarning over and pulling through that last gray stitch so now with the white stitches I can see I've got one two three four five six seven and finishing one stitch uh, further along than the previous three rows. So yarning over one, two, 
three, four, five, six, and then the last stitch into that grey one because we're going one further than the previous row. Keeping that yarn to the front there, taking this yarn from the last row, pulling through to finish off our last white stitch. And that's that white section done. And then I can see I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12 stitches before we need to change to white again. round pulling through and you see that it will pull over a little bit that's okay because it is only one stitch if we were say finishing five stitches or four stitches away from where this working yarn was and we wanted to change to white I would definitely recommend cutting the yarn and starting again um, but in this case it is only one stitch so it's not going to matter if it's going across that far you're not going to see it on the other side anyway and it'll look, you won't even be able to tell. So now starting with the white, and we're doing seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, working out to the front from the previous round, oops, yarning over, pulling through, and then you want to make sure that you don't skip that stitch. So we are going to be going in with our grey yarn into one of our white stitches, so just make sure you don't skip that one because that yarn that you're carrying over will probably be covering it, so just make sure you get all the stitches. Otherwise you'll end up with a hole in your work and we don't want that. All right, chaining two, turning our work and I'll just show you what it looks like so far. So you will be able to see that we have started going in on the diagonal. But it looks nice and neat, remembering that we're leaving all our ends to the back of our work. And that's what it looks like so far. Now I'm going to go ahead now and probably do right up until we get to this section in the middle. So I'll meet you back here after row, say after row 12, I'll meet you back here once we've completed row 12. All right, so here I am at the end of row 12. I have changed two and turned my work already. You can see it's coming along nicely. Now we're going to be starting on row 13, which is the beginning of this middle section here. So I can see here that I've got 12 stitches before I start my white. So we're going to be doing 12 stitches in the gray. and 12, grabbing the white from behind, and that is our 12 grey stitches. So now I can see that the beginning of the white is going to carry on right through to this side of the letter A. So we're going to be stopping one stitch short of the previous row. So this is where it gets a little bit easier because you don't have to train, change yarn quite as much, well at least for the next few rows anyway. So here we get to the grey where usually we would be changing it back to grey around here somewhere but we're going to continue crocheting into the grey. white 
that stitch. Now I'm going to grab the grey from behind and finish that one off. And I'm going to finish this row with my grey and then that'll be the end of row 13. Alright, so here we are at the end of row 13. Now, I just wanted to point out, I did just think that I had made a mistake with this stitch here. You'll see that it doesn't line up and I could potentially have done that stitch grey. Now, I just want to point out, this is crochet. You're not drawing on a piece of paper, so the edges aren't going to be exactly perfect, especially when they're not straight up and down side to side edges. When they, Once you start going diagonal or around round edges, things do start to get a little bit tricky and it is hard to get the edges exactly perfect. I'm just going to leave that there. It will probably even itself out because you probably will find that other stitches will kind of look out of place a little bit further up the graph. So I'm not going to worry about taking that stitch out. I'm going to leave it there. It is crochet after all, and you can't expect the edge to be exactly perfect because it is crochet and you're not drawing on a piece of paper. So it's completely up to you. If you felt like, you know, your OCD was taking over and you wanted to go back and take this stitch out, which mine kind of is at the moment, but I'm just going to keep going with it and see how it turns out at the end. Obviously, that's not ideal if I then decide at the end that I want to go back and take it out, but I doubt I will. I think it will all just figure itself out once we've finished with the graph and finished the entire letter. I think it'll look just fine, but I just wanted to point that out in case you guys are looking at this thinking, Kate, there's a stitch out of place. That's not meant to be there. That's meant to be grey. Well, no, I am aware of it, but I'm just going to leave it and I'm going to go with it, okay? Beautiful. All right, so that's the end of row 13. I've chained two. I'm going to turn my work and then we're back on the wrong side so we know we're going to be coming from this direction again. I'm going to leave you guys there and I'm going to finish off this middle section. So I will come back after I've finished row 17. So once you've finished row 17, come back to me and I will continue with this little middle grey section. Here we are at the end of row 17. Now we are going to be beginning, be beginning row 18. I just wanted to let you guys know, if you turn your work over, you'll notice that you're now not using this white strand here. It'll be left all the way back down here. And the reason you're not using that anymore is because when we started this middle section, you've just continued with the same uh, ball of white yarn that you've been using. So you can now cut off this little section here and just leave that hanging there and that will just need to be sewn in later. The same goes for this grey yarn here. So if you find any bits that you aren't using anymore, just cut them off. The ends will need to be sewn in later, um, but it just saves you from getting all this wool tangled up when you're not actually using it. I should have told you guys earlier. Sorry. But just for future reference, um, you can cut your yarn off as you go so you don't have to deal with so many different balls of yarn. All right, so I'm going to just turn this back over. Chain two. Turn our work. Now we're going to beginning, be beginning on row 18, which is where we're going to be starting this little middle section here. So obviously we're going to be working from this direction because we're now on the wrong side of our work. So coming from this direction, we're going to do all our grey stitches up until we get to the white and then we're going to go from the white back to the grey again. So just like what we did down here at the beginning, we're going to be going from white Sorry, from grey to white to grey, white, and then back to grey again. So you will need that ball of yarn that I've just told you to cut off. So don't get rid of that. Don't pack it away yet because we will need to bring it back out again when we attach our yarn to do this little grey section in the middle here. Alrighty, so just finishing, starting, I should say, our grey stitches right up until we get to where we want to be starting the white section. Alright, 
so that's it for our grey section for this row. Now we're going to be starting back on our white. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, for
try and make it so you guys can see. I just go in under the stitches. So obviously if you're sewing in a gray end, you want to go in under the gray section of your project. You don't want to go in under the white because you will be able to see it. So as you can see, I just go in under the stitches like so. Just for about, I don't know, six stitches. Depends how long your end is really. So pull that through like that. And then I just go back through again just to make sure that it is nice and secure. Just like that. Beautiful. So now that bit there can be trimmed off. That shouldn't come undone. It should be pretty well secured. Now, again, just with the white one, Just the exact same thing. You don't have to go in a straight line for this one. I'm just going to go up a little bit because I don't want it to be in with the grey. I do just want it to be in the white section so you can't see it. I'm just going to go through. And then if you find that your end is too short and you can't go back through without it falling out of your needle, a little trick is just insert your needle first into the stitches that you want to pull the tail through, then thread the yarn through your needle after you've put the needle into the stitches. So then you've threaded it and you can just pull it through. And that is how you sew in your ends. Pretty easy. So we're just going to go ahead now and do that exact same thing for all these ends. And then once you've done that, I'll meet you back here at the end when it's all nice and tidy. And then I'll show you the next step. Alrighty, so I've sewn in all my ends. Now, I should have mentioned before that you will need to sew in your tail that we left from the beginning. And then the one that you've finished off with. So I'll go ahead now and finish off this last end. So um, to finish it off, I've just cut the yarn and then pulled it through with my hook. And just to secure it, I'm just gonna insert my hook there through that stitch and pull that yarn through. And then I'm just gonna loop it in from behind and pull it tight to finish it off, just like that. And then we'll go ahead and sew in this end. So just like you've done all your others, with your darning needle, just going back in through some stitches. Now remember again, it doesn't have to be perfect. This side won't be seen. Um, once you've completed your cushion, so just as long as they're in secure enough so they're not, not going to come out easily. Alright, then I'm just going to go back through. done. Now I can go in and trim off all these ends. Just be careful, make sure you don't cut your actual work. You don't want that, then it's going to start unraveling and that's a disaster. <laughs> so just trim off your ends. All right, I think that's all of them. Beautiful, so this is the wrong side. Now, just remember earlier in the video um, how I said that there was a stitch that looked like it was out of place. Now, you'll notice now that it has evened itself out. I'll flip it over to the correct side. 
So you'll see now that it doesn't look out of place because there are a few others which kind of even it out, which is great. That's what we like to see. Now, to finish off this cushion, you can either make another one of these so you've got the letter on both sides of your cushion, or you can do what I've done and make a just a plain grey or plain coloured square that will be the back of your cushion. So to do this, all I did was chained up 50, just like we did to start off the letter side of the cushion. Skip two and then half double crocheted into 48 stitches and then I did 41 rows. Okay, so it's the exact same size as the letter side, letter side of the cushion, um, only there are no color changes involved, it is just one solid color. So that's gonna be the back of my cushion. All right, now to join these together, first of all, you'll see that I haven't finished off this uh, plain side of my cushion because we are going to use this yarn to join it together. Another thing I just want to mention is I like to join my two sides together using a smaller hook than what we have been using only because I like to make sure that the join is nice and tight and that there aren't going to be any gaps where the cushion insert might show through. So we were using a 5mm crochet hook for this part of our cushion, but I'm going to go ahead now and join it with a 4mm just to make sure that they are nice and tight that the join is nice and tight and that the cushion insert won't show through any of the seams. Now you don't have to do this, you can continue using the same size hook, this is just my preference and what I like to do, it is completely up to you if you go, if you decide to use a smaller hook or if you just wanna use the one that you've been using. Okay, so first of all, I have chained one um, on our plain colored side. <laughs> Um, now to join these together you'll want to make sure that you've got the right side facing up so you want the right side to be on the inside when you're joining them now obviously this plain colored square is the exact same on both sides so it doesn't matter which side is facing um, but just make sure that this one has the right side showing facing towards the inside because once we've joined the edges together we will be turning it inside out so then this side will end up on the outside okay now another little tip I'd like to share with you guys is when I'm joining things like this I like to just um, attach the corners just so I know that they're staying together and that I'm joining it evenly all the way down if that makes sense um, you don't have to do this again it's just what I like to do but yeah it's just a little tip that I'd like to share with you guys okay so like I said before I've chained one now we're going to find the corner of the other side of the cushion cover and we're going to insert our hook right into that corner there and then we're just gonna slip stitch it together. Now you could join these together using any technique you liked, um, whatever you prefer really. You could use a single crochet, you could use a slip stitch, you could use a braid stitch, whichever joining method you prefer. I'm just going to use a slip stitch today because it is the easiest and the quickest and it uses the least amount of yarn. So I'm gonna go ahead now and st slip stitch this all together. So once I've slip stitched to join it to the other side, I just like to go back into this corner here and go through both pieces and just do another slip stitch just so I can make sure that it is super secure. And now we're going to be working in this direction and we're, all we're going to be doing is slip stitching all the way down to join these together. So you want to make sure that your hook is going through both sides of the cushion cover to make sure that they are both being joined together because obviously if it's only going through one side they're not going to be joined together and then you'll get to the end and you'll be like oh damn it okay <laughs> so all right make sure your hook is going through both sides of the cushion so literally just like this and you want to try and make sure that first of all you're not doing your slip stitches 
too far apart because then you will end up with the join being holy and you'll be able to see your cushion insert through that. But also you want to make sure that it is lined up and that you're kind of keeping it straight when you're joining because you don't want to end up with one side like you know the end is here and then you've still got all of this of the other side that's hanging off the edge if that makes sense um so just make sure you're trying to keep it straight and even and you're joining evenly all the way down on both sides and that's just another reason why i use the bobby pin to hold the corner in place it just helps you keep it lined up all the way down and you make sure you are joining it evenly. So this is literally all you're going to be doing all the way down. Super easy and super quick. I'll just show you this side um, and what I do at the corner once I get to there and then I'll leave you guys and you can finish it off and meet me at the end. But for now, we'll just keep going with this side. And so after I've done a few stitches, I like to just hold it out and even it up, make sure it is even, like I was saying earlier. So I'm almost at the end of this side. Now, once you get to the corner, you can remove the bobby pin if you're using one. And then just finish off the last couple of slip stitches. And then you just want to go through that corner part there and that corner part there slip stitch it together. I usually do a couple in the corners and then you just go on to the other side and then you're going to do the exact same thing all the way down. I'll go ahead as well and um, put my bobby pin into this corner to hold those two together just like that that. So then you'll do the exact same thing what we've just done on this side all the way along this side, this side and then once you get to the final edge you only want to go halfway down because then we're going to insert the cushion insert. So just go halfway down the last edge and I'll meet you back here. So I'm going to go and do this whole side, this whole side, and then half of this side, and then I'll meet you back here. Okay guys, so we're almost there. We're on the home stretch now. We've joined our cushion pretty much all the way around. So down this side, along here, up this side, and then halfway to this side. So you'll see that this part of the cushion is still open. Now this is where we're going to insert our cushion insert, okay? But this part is all joined. Alrighty, now what I'm going to do is leave, so measure along there how long your yarn needs to be. I always leave quite a bit extra because I just like to be safe and then you want to leave a tail that you can sew in at the end. So leave about, I'd say, double the length of this part that still needs to be sewn up. And then you can just cut it with your yarn, with your cut your yarn with your scissors, that's what I was trying to say. And then to finish this little part off, I'm just going to chain one and then pull that through. Just like that. Okay? So then we've still got the hole there. So now what we want to do is turn our cushion cover inside out so I just put my hand in through that hole and pull it back through make sure you push out all the corners just like that so it should look like something like that and then you'll be able to 
go along and see that all your edges should be sewn up nicely and there shouldn't be any holes. So just go along and check that. And that all looks good and you've still got your hole there that we're going to insert our cushion insert into. Okay, so take your cushion insert. This is just a 16 inch cushion insert. The packaging looks like this. Now, for those of you that are in Australia, this is just from Big W. You can get them from any other craft store or um, department store as well. All right, so it's a size 16, which just me means that it's 16 inches by 16 inches. Easy. All right, so we've got our cushion insert. Now, it might seem like it's going to be impossible to get it into this tiny hole, but trust me, it works. All you have to do, or what I do, is fold the cushion insert in half like this. It should look something like that. And then we're going to take this end and insert it into this hole. Okay, now it is a little bit fiddly, but you will get there in the end. And then I just pull it up over it like this. Getting there slowly. And just pull it down. And we're in. Now, all you need to do now is just to even it out. So I just put my hand in and push it right into the corners, right into the edges to make sure that it is all even. And then I just give it a good fluff, just like that. That looks pretty good. Beautiful. All right, so our cushion insert is in our cushion cover. This is what it's gonna look like. Now, all we need to do now is to sew up this hole here. And I find it's easiest. So usually when I'm doing this, I'll sit on the couch and I'll put it in between my knees and I'll hold it like that or like that, whichever way, it doesn't really matter. Um, that's probably not very flattering on camera, so I'm not going to do that today. But if you are doing this at home and you're looking for an easy way to do it, that is how I do it usually. Okay, so we've got this end that we left earlier and this is what we're going to be using to sew this edge together. Just move the camera up a little bit so you guys can see. All right, so what I'm going to do is thread my needle with this end. like that and then I'm going to hold the cushion this way up and I'm just going to go through these stitches so I'm just going to be doing like an over stitch just like this over 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 and then once we get to the end I'll show you how to finish it off but I'll try my best to make it so you guys can see what I'm doing I just go in through those two top stitches if you can see there just like that. And then pull through. And then again, go through the next two stitches, pull through. Next two. And so on and so forth. I might speed things up a little bit here um, just so I'm not wasting your time and boring you. Um, but I'll meet you back here once I've nearly finished. Alrighty, so we're nearly at the end. Now I'm just going to finish off the next couple of stitches to finish this off. Just like that. Now this is the corner. You just want to make sure that there's no hole in the corner and that it is all joined, which it looks like it is. So it should look like that. And then to finish off, I'm just gonna go back through the corner there, pull it through, but not all the way. And then with this, I'm just going to go back in behind and pull it tight. 
done. You could go in again and do another knot. I don't usually, I just do it at one and then I'll go in and sew in my ends just like I showed you guys earlier. So I'll just go and do that now. And then with the end, I don't usually cut it off. I'll just go in on the inside of the cushion cover where the insert is and I'll just pull it through there. And keep going just until it's all under there. And then I just push it in underneath. And we are done. That is the letter cushion complete. So you can't really see it properly because my camera's so close, but I will take a photo and um, show you the end result and I'll show you at the end of this video. But that is your letter cushion complete. I'm hope, I really hope you are happy with it and that you found this video useful. I know it is quite a long one, so thank you, thank you, thank you if you watched all the way to the end and you stuck through it. Um, hopefully your end result was worth it. Now, don't forget if you did find this video useful and you do um, like seeing my videos, give me a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel and you'll get notified of my future videos. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Have a great day. Thank you.